All right, here we're trying to simplify the square root of 16. Now, there's one rule here that's important to know, and that is that if you have the square root of a times b, that can be rewritten as the square root of a times the square root of b. And if we know this, then the idea is that if we can rewrite 16 as a series of things being multiplied by each other, by each other so a series of products, then that might help us break this down into simpler form. And to do that, we use a technique called prime factorization. And that is to say that any number can be rewritten as a series of primes written together. Now, let me write down some primes here. 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, and so on. Now, these are all primes. Any number can be rewritten as a series of primes being multiplied by each other. Sometimes the only way to write that number is the number itself times 1, and that means the number is a prime. Otherwise, you can write it as a series of products. So our job is to see, can 16 be rewritten as a series of primes multiplied together? And the way to do that, you simply start at the top of this list and you work your way down. Can 16 be divided by 2? Why, yes, it can, because 2 times 8 is equal to 16. So let us rewrite 16 as the square root of 2 times 8. Now, we're not done here because 8 is itself not a prime. So we have to repeat this process again. So we notice, is 8 even? Yes, that means it can be divided by 2. So let's rewrite this again. 2 times 2 times 4. Notice that 4 is not a prime, so we're going to rewrite that again. And this can be rewritten as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Excellent. So now we're in a good place because these are all primes. 2s are all primes. And if you multiply 2 times 2, that's 4. Times 2, that's 8. Times 2, that's 16. So these multiply together, go back to our original number of 16. And these are all primes. Now, if you remember from our rule up here, this can be rewritten as the square root of 2 times 2 times the square root of 2 times 2. Now, this is what we've been looking for all along. That's these pairs. Whenever you have a pair under a square root sign, you can just pull out a number outside of the square root. So this gets rewritten as simply 2. And this square root of 2 over 2 gets rewritten as simply 2. What we end up with is 2 times 2, or 4. So what that means is that 16 is a perfect square, because 4 times 4 is equal to 16. And the square root of 16 is 4. When you have a perfect square, you can memorize these. There are a bunch of per perfect squares that you can simply memorize. And if you know them, then you can just memorize uh, their, their square roots. However, if you're, if you're not sure, you can just go through the operation as we just did.